guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me for this video of course as you can tell from the title i'm going to be testing out the new urban decay naked wild west palette now they did very kindly send this to me so thank you so much to urban decay for sending this over and can we just take a minute to appreciate how gorgeous this packaging is and this is a, a vegan formula now I know a lot of people feel like these palettes have been overdone but in my opinion I think they're so cool and they seem like they would be perfect for like your everyday makeup user like it's just perfect for like someone who just likes to wear makeup for an everyday type of thing really someone who's not really into like the whole big colourful palettes maybe this might be perfect for you but yeah let's read a little bit of information from the card so this says, introducing our first vegan naked eyeshadow palette, so that's pretty cool, it's their first ever vegan one. And it is cruelty free as well, which is also really good. And there's a mix of matte, satin, metallic and shimmer shades for every mood under the western sun. Saddle up with 12 ultra rich pigments in just one palette. And this is available at Urban Decay now for £45, so definitely on the high-end side of makeup. So let's open this up. I'm sure you must have all seen it on social media, but I am in love with this packaging. I think it's so damn gorgeous. Let's open her up. And I'm really obsessed. Oh. It does come with a brush, like all the Naked palettes. And here is what she looks like on the inside. I am obsessed with these bluey shades. They look absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to get this on my eyes. Swatch some of these like shimmery shades for you all. Ooh. So they feel a bit more dry to the touch as opposed to like super creamy but they still look insanely foiled and gorgeous in my opinion. So let's just quickly swatch those. Yeah even though they don't feel creamy Yeah, even though they don't feel creamy, they still pack a punch and look super, super shimmery and foiled. So that's good so far. Now let's swatch a couple of these mattes. I'm going to do this dark blue and the dark purple. And let's do this one called Ghost Town. And this. And then let's do like a nudist shade. Ooh, hello. So there's what those four look like there. Same as the shimmers, it seems to be more of like a dry formula. Obviously it's eyeshadow, they are dry, but you guys know what I mean, hopefully. Super beautiful. Now let's just swatch those. They swatch really nicely, but obviously the true test is when they are on your eyeballs, of course. So I have just gone ahead and zoomed you in a bit and primed my eyelid with my favourite P. Louise base and applied a little bit of tape to the edge. So let's crack on. I think I'm going to start by taking this like deep blue shade here called Tex just on this, just on this fluffy brush from Morphe. Just tap her in. Okay, there's a fair bit of kickback. Hopefully you can see that there. But for me personally, that's not an issue. It doesn't bother me too much. And let's just start to peg this through the crease. I do apologise if you can hear the wind. It is very windy outside today and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. But yeah, let's just continue. Let's just continue on. She is looking very pigmented, very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, 
what are your guys thoughts on the Naked collection? Do you love it? Do you not love it? I'd love to know your thoughts. My very first one I tried from this Naked collection was the... Oh, Naked Heat, that's it. The Naked Heat was the first one I tried a couple of years ago, or a few years ago now. I never actually got around to trying like the original ones. But I know like back in the day they were very well hyped and loved. But wow, this shade is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And then just above that I'm going to take this like greyish grungy shade here called Pony Up, just above it. Yeah, definitely a fair bit of kickback, just so you know. And let's pack that above. Now that I'm applying that down, it's also appearing a slightly a bit bluey to me. I don't know if that's just my eyes or what. But it's really nice. I still really love it. It's a beautiful shade. I don't really use shades like this all that often, to be honest. So I'm loving doing something a bit different for me, for a change. This is looking so, so nice in my opinion. Hopefully they blend out really good. That's going to be the true test, isn't it? Because you can have a damp pigmented palette, but if it doesn't blend, it's just not worth it. And then I'm going to go back in with text, just to make sure it's super intense and noticeable. Because obviously that second shade has like covered it up a bit. So here we go. Just intensify it. And then I'm going to slightly blend out those edges using this PC33 brush from Peaches and Cream. But it's just a teeny, teeny, tiny little fluffy blending brush. Now let's just start to blend it in. I feel like this is going well so far. I'm not going to blend them out fully because I'm going to add because I am going to add another shade above it so this is just like roughly giving it a little blend that'll do for that step for now and now I'm going to take this Morphe M507 fluffy blending brush and take a bit of the shade here called Laredo I think, something like that and really start to blend out those edges. This seems to be blending really well. Doesn't seem to be like too stiff or anything like that which I was a bit worried about because obviously like I said it's a bit more of a dryish formula blending just keep blending 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 Okay, so I just went ahead and cut my crease. I'm going for some sort of like half cut crease vibe today and please do excuse my brows. They've just decided that they're going to start to fall down already, but never mind. <laughs> it's okay. So for the lid shade, I'm going to take this silvery shade here. This silvery shade here called Cowboy Rick, just on this brush from Morphe Brushes. And just start to pack that on my lid. Whoa, she is stunning. 
I wonder what she would look like if I sprayed it with a bit of a setting spray. Because it's pretty, but it's not as like pow as I would like, if that makes any sense at all. And let's just spray some setting spray. This is just the MAC Fix Plus. Oh yes, that is so much better. What do you guys think? Wow. So gorgeous. I am obsessed with how beautiful this looks. So I'm just gonna now take this first shade again that we used called Tex, this nice blue one and just blend out the edges into like the cut crease part just on that same brush and just like to pep 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 down Lovely jubbly. And then now I'm just going to take a bit of that same silvery shade called Cowboy Rick and mix it with this blue shimmer here called Bud and just highlight my brow bone using this brush from Crown. It's their C513 brush. Oh, and also I did want to note that that silver. Hopefully you can see it there, it's gone quite crumbly but it is still so beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. So let's just... Ooh, that makes such a pretty shade. It's very beautiful. Wow. Done in, let's zoom you out again. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna hop off camera and do the rest of the makeup, and I will come right back to finish off the eyes. So, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. Personally, I really enjoy using this palette, I think it's a really great one. I absolutely love it. I would give this a 9 out of 10 only because. With obviously the lid shimmer shade that I used, I had to like spray it with Fix Plus to get it to like look super intense. But that doesn't normally bother me at all. But obviously some people for £45 you would want it to work without the setting spray. I mean it does still give a really nice effect on the eyelids. But yeah, I do really rate this palette and I don't have anything else like it in my collection. So I'm really glad that I have it. And yeah... Even though it's a more dry formula, it still worked amazingly on the eyelids with the P. Louise base. But yeah, I definitely will be getting lots of use out of this. And if you want to see the details for the rest of this look, I'll be uploading it to my Instagram soon. It is just Beauty by Chrissy. I'll try and leave it on the screen for you if I remember. If not, it will be down in the description bar for you all. And yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the little notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.